Last month, a few people were injured and property destroyed in Nakuru town following the collapse of a four-story building which had developed cracks while still undergoing construction. This being the latest incident of this nature reported in many parts of the country, a reflection of an ugly turn of events that has claimed the lives of many over the past three years. <laughs> the Architectural Association of Kenya attributes such tragic incidents to quacks who have continued to operate in the sector with total disregard of the laid down construction policies. I have seen in some cases where somebody allows his name to be used if it's an engineer. You find so and so is the engineer. But when a problem has arisen, you go and check. The person says, I was not aware. That one we don't want to accept. There is nobody who is going to use my name unless he knows I'm loose somewhere or I'll be bought at one time. If your name appears on the port, believe it or not, or you like it or not, you are held, you are held responsible. The umbrella body that houses architects, engineers, quantity surveyors and construction project managers is now advocating for close supervision with the addition of key players in the sector to police the professionals until the threat is eliminated. Uh, three uh, architects have been identified as uh, in terms of malpractice and have um, been put to book. But on the matter of quacks, uh, really um, as a whole in terms of the building sector, we're trying to also change the law that governs uh, architects and quantity surveyors to, to bring more people under the umbrella, even at the technical level, uh, so that we're able to police uh, professional practice in a, uh, in a better way. I'm sure in the next three or four years, with the sustainable, sustainable investment and the follow-up, you know we have to be persistent also. If we relax, we relax somewhere, those people come back. The Architectural Association of Kenya notes that the delay in apprehension of unlicensed practitioners, as recommended by the body, has derailed efforts to streamline the sector. In terms of laws, we have actually enough laws to... Um, to govern this industry as it were, uh, uh, as we currently speak. What we are seeing is a culture of impunity. We need to put people to task. When buildings collapse, something has gone wrong. Uh, to, to date, we've not seen anyone put in, uh, in terms of uh, a developer or even a professional or anyone who's found uh, culpable. We are, we, so there's no way we're going to solve this problem if, if no one is held to book. The government seeks to construct one million houses in the next five years to bridge the gap between supply and demand as well as resolve the informal settlement quagmire across the country. The association is also advocating for better transport systems to cater for the growing masses. We need to get uh, out of the um, culture of building roads. The more roads you build, the more traffic jams we have. We must look at more sustainable and efficient methods of transporting people. This will have a greater impact on the building and, uh, industry as a whole because it releases pressure on land as people can live further and further away from their workplaces. We're looking at also public space. This is something that has been forgotten. Children need somewhere to play. Uh, people need uh, space to breathe. Uh, our cities now are becoming concrete jungles without any green areas for people to, you know, uh, enjoy themselves as it were. Juni Karisa from Mombasa County for Business Insight.